Almost four months since the Las Vegas shooting, the worst in modern American history, still many mysteries and some new developments in that case. Just two days ago, a lawyer for the Las Vegas police indicated new charges could be forthcoming. Odd, since the only suspect is dead. Detectives, though, saying very little. Catherine Lombardo is an attorney representing the victims of Las Vegas. She joins us along with Republican Congressman Scott Perry of Pennsylvania, who says he's got concerns about how this is going. First to you, Catherine. Um, what do you know? Yes, we had court uh, two days ago. It was the hearing for the press uh, where they have um, they asked the court to release the search warrants, uh, the affidavits, and all of the returns, right. which means all of the evidence, right? And so um, what we heard was quite shocking and quite surprising. Now, you have to remember that Sheriff Lombardo with the Las Vegas Metro uh, Police has told us at his uh, briefings that, that Stephen Paddock was the lone shooter. He was the only shooter. However, at the hearing, we heard two things. One, that there will be no indictments coming for any murder or shooting. However, they are investigating other charges and crimes. They wouldn't say who. They wouldn't say what. The entire courtroom took a gasp and looked up and went silent for a second. Even the judge reacted, and the judge said something like, okay, without telling me who or what, are you saying to me that there will be other charges forthcoming? And the lawyer for the police said, yes, there are other charges being investigated. The judge pressed him on that, and he said within 60 days. So what the judge did was she asked him for further supplemental briefing to explain to her right. what, what that contains, who it is, what it's about. You see, we're asking, and the press, the press is asking, for the, uh, the documents, the evidence to be released since there is no ongoing criminal investigation. Well, that would, that would be nice and answer basic questions such as how is an interior door locked inside the hotel suite? Congressman, you're the only member of Congress I'm aware of who's taken a public position asking questions about this. What are your questions? Well, uh, I smell a rat like a lot of Americans do. Nothing's adding up. It's been four months, as you said. We don't even, the man's dead. They said he's a lone gunman, lone shooter, yet we can't get the autopsy results. But even more troubling than that, recently I've been made aware of what I believe to be credible evidence or credible information regarding potential terrorist infiltration through the southern border regarding this incident. Terrorist yes, sir. connections. Yes, sir. Okay, so what's the outline of that? What would that well, they could be, well, let's, let's face it, ISIS twice before the attack. ISIS warned the United States that they would attack Las Vegas, by, I think, in June and August. And then after the attack, claim responsibility four times. Meanwhile, the local law enforcement investigative services are telling us there is no terrorist connection, lone gunman. Something, again, something's not adding. Well, that's part of my confusion. Catherine, can you just confirm that this investigation is still being overseen by state and local authorities rather than federal? That's right. The FBI and the Las Vegas Metro Police Department have been conducting the investigation. Uh, we've seen no evidence of a terrorist attack, and I will ask, with all due respect, Congressman, unless you have specific evidence to back that up, it seems a bit irresponsible to make that allegation. So if you do, or make that assertion, if you do have any evidence of that, I'm asking you right now to share it with us and tell us what that is. My well, clients, not able the victims, to... all 22,000 yeah. people have right. been waiting and waiting and waiting. Got it. For let's, let, let's, let so... the, let's let the congressman respond to that. I, I, we've all been waiting. I'm waiting too. Like I said, nothing adds up, but I'm just telling you, I have received what I feel to be and believe to be credible evidence of a possible terrorist nexus, and we're going to have what to wait it? until until that it? situation develops. So, uh, so Catherine See, Congressman said, an, they, hold on, another, hold on, so, 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 so down for one second. I'm not taking hold... a position on this either way, but I want to get, I want to dig down a little bit here. If that is your belief, does Congress have a role to play in this? I don't know that Congress has a role, but I think who, who does have a role is the National Counterterrorism Center. And if ISIS claims, if ISIS warns about an attack and then an attack occurs and then claims responsibility after the fact, right. it seems to me that at a minimum they should have some portion of the investigation to clearly debunk that claim. And yet it hasn't happened. Okay, so tomorrow uh, we're unfortunately out of time, but we will be taking a press conference um, tomorrow out of Las Vegas by the investigators. Hopefully we're going to learn more, and I hope we speak to both That's of you right. again on this. Yes. Thank you both Thank very you. much.